Well, uh, welcome back. To shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, with us over the phone uh, Dr. Mahmoud Farag, uh, Information and Communications Technology Expert. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Dr. Farag, um, uh, about the uh, uh, intelligence uh, and uh, the artificial intelligence, uh, the idea of um, uh, that the artificial intelligence uh, could one day uh, make some jobs disappear and other jobs uh, could be created. Give us an idea about this, please. Hello? Okay, do you listen to me now? Hello? Yeah, hello? Yes, me? Doctor, yes, Dr. Yeah, you heard me? Okay. Yes, please. Would okay. you like that I repeat the question? No, 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 no problem. Yes, okay, yeah, but, uh, please go ahead. Yeah, what please. I, sure. What I uh, want to say is that first, we want to know what is the AI and how how it has work and and we'll uh, speak about uh, your question. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, um, artificial intelligence is first to a simulation of a human intelligence process by machines, uh, particularly computer systems. This process including learning, the acquisition of information and rules for using the information, uh, reasoning using rules to uh, reach uh, approximate or uh, definite uh, conclusion uh, uh, and self uh, correction. Okay, how is your question? Um, there's almost some jobs will disappear actually, but there's a new job will be appear. Uh, so we have to learn and uh, know more about what is AI and how can we use it in the future. Yes, Dr. Farag, so what is the advantages and the disadvantages by the artificial intelligence? There is a lot of advantage uh, of uh, AI and disadvantage. There's no more disadvantage, but if, if we can say that biased, uh, can, uh, if uh, AI is biased to, to do something uh, illegal, uh, it will be a disadvantage. But a lot of benefits uh, to use of uh, AI in multiple fields uh, that uh, artificial intelligence has a potential to transform a wide range of uh, fields and industries by uh, automating tasks, uh, innovating decision-making uh, process and uh, enabling the development of innovative uh, solutions. And there's some key fields that can benefit from AI like uh, healthcare, finance, education, uh, transportation, uh, manufacturing, and so on. Yes. Uh, so how can we, uh, c uh, how c could we raise awareness uh, on the advantages uh, and disadvantages of modern technologies uh, among youth? Okay, sure. Um, raising technology awareness and uh, 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 advantages advantage among youth is very important for helping them making informed decisions about their technology, uh, technology use. Um, look, there, is, uh, there are uh, some strategies to achieve this. First, about education. Uh, and we, might, we have to integrate technology awareness programs in school and their uh, uh, activities and uh, organize some uh, uh, workshops and uh, uh, seminars focused on uh, technology awareness for youth in school uh, communities, uh, community centers, and, uh, or uh, youth organizations. Um, about uh, parents, um, parents must be uh, involved in decision with uh, technology, um, uh, uh, launch awareness uh, campaign using social media online platforms and traditional uh, media channels to reach a wide uh, audience of youth. Uh, Yes, uh, Dr. Farag, how can uh, can you could you tell us uh, about uh, the emergence of the uh, telepathy uh, chip that can help benefits uh, people with determination? Sure, There's, uh, a few uh, days uh, ago, uh, Elon Musk uh, put uh, post as uh, but first as as we all know that Elon Musk uh, issued a company called uh, Neuralink on uh, 2000. And the um, 1st of uh, February, uh, Elon Musk put a post on uh, Twitter, uh, known uh, now as X, and said the first human uh, received an um, uh, implant from uh, uh, Neuralink and is recovering well, and initial results show 
promising neural uh, neuron uh, detection. Um, it will allow us to keep proof of concept. But what is a concept? It's a PCI. What's PCI? It's a frame computer interface. The first product of Neuralink company after just eight years is called Liberty. It's a ship, okay? It's a ship. This ship will allow people to control machines uh, with their uh, with their thoughts. It will allow you to control your phone, computer, and uh, just by thinking about what you want to do. And through them, you can control other devices. If um, if it works, uh, it will, it could be a game changer, uh, especially for people with some of uh, some form of uh, uh, paralysis. Um, they, they they could benefit uh, immensely from uh, technology like this. But how does it work? Or let me explain how this ship works. Um, it's a, com a computer ship will be inserted into a brain, and this uh, insertion will happen by a special uh, surgical robot. And this ship, let me explain more about this ship. It, uh, it has a uh, small size, like like a coin, um, this ship will be uh, battery uh, uh, operated and it can charge it uh, wirelessly um, because it will be in, inside the brain, inside your head, uh, because it will be inserted directly into a brain, so replacement will be, would be a, a problem, uh, to, uh, if there is a problem happen to the ship. Um, the ship will uh, monitor your uh, brain activity and read your thoughts and pass them into uh, to the ship. Um, then send the signal to an application uh, on your phone or a computer. Uh, yes. He uh, eventually wants, uh, wants an advanced brain computer interface. Imagine, try imagine driving a smart car with just your thoughts or playing video game with your, uh, with your mind or accessing all information on the internet uh, through your, your brain. The ability are endless. There is a reason Musk is calling this first product telepathy. It sets the tone for the, for what is to what uh, for what is to come. Yes. Uh, so, what is uh, the what are the risks uh, or the disadvantages uh, of uh, uh, this uh, telepathy uh, chip? Sure. Of course, there are uh, throwback and three uh, two. Like almost every new technology, this tool will be uh, open to, open, uh, to uh, abuse. Imagine someone hack your brain chip, uh, reading your thoughts, uh, controlling your uh, robot uh, lip. Imagine someone can control your uh, hand or your body and then fed uh, thoughts to, your, uh, to you. Imagine uh, can, uh, someone can... Uh, change your uh, culture. Someone can uh, you, uh, can use your uh, eyes to see things around of you. Uh, try to imagine that someone can uh, use your uh, body to uh, commit a, a crime wirelessly, while they control you wirelessly, okay? Uh, or, or someone uh, uh, killing person by uh, set a plan to do something unusual by sending some activities to the ship because it's inside your, your uh, yeah, inside the brain. In the future, imagine they can take a, a backup of your uh, brain, whole brain, can take a backup and put it on a desk or inside someone else. Okay, so how, how, can, we, how can we secure ourselves from any, uh, any separate attack? It's, 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 it's fine uh, perspective. Yes, yes. Uh, so, um, uh, also, uh, what is the role uh, of the uh, inte intellectual property rights uh, in light of uh, this uh, technological development? It's not only intellectual uh, 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 property rights rule, it's also lawmaker rule, establishing legal uh, uh, legislation to uh, protect people from having their ideas stolen or controlled or hacked or something like that. Yes, yes. So, uh, also, um, um, Dr. Farag, uh, how can we use the artificial intelligence in uh, the education system? Sure. 
We can use it in multiple things in the education system. We can use it to help people uh, to, uh, uh, to select the way, the way that this person is specific to, to this person to understand and, and to uh, try to uh, uh, reach information uh, using, uh, using AI to select some specific topics that yes. can I send it to this person. Yes, Dr. Farag, in which stage of uh, uh, the education uh, can we start with the uh, students, uh, uh, the uh, artificial intelligence? Let's start from the primary uh, stage. Can we use the, te the uh, in artificial intelligence with the primary stage? Yeah, sure, sure. sure. So, since the uh, pupil or the student is young, uh, we can use the artificial intelligence. Sorry, again? I mean, in the primary stage, since the pupil yeah. is very young, yes. So it's much no, better. They, they are not very young. They can understand what's happening around yes, them. Yes, of they course. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I got you. Uh, so uh, also, uh, uh, of course, in the preparatory and the secondary uh, school. What about the sure. university stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, very important to use it in the university, yes. and it's already right now we have a lot of universities, especially for uh, AI in Egypt, and, yes. and must be uh, focused more about that. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you uh, for your valuable information. I really had the pleasure to have this uh, phone with you. Thank you very much, Dr. Mahmoud Farag, uh, information and uh, communication technology expert. Thank you very much uh, for joining us over the phone. Well, uh, with this, uh, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, uh, The Breakfast Show. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.